this is Nico B here with a let's play of Master Detective Archives Rain Code. Oh my god! Freaking finally! Jesus Christ! Wow! Holy crap, it took so freaking long to finish one of these series to finally start playing this game. This game came out like two months ago now. God dang! Would you believe? Would you believe that this game was actually like my most highly anticipated game of this year? Because it is. I've been like dying to play it. It sucks that it decided to come out after a bunch of other big releases. Like, son of a, why, why do companies keep doing this? Why do they keep releasing like games at the same time as other games? You know, there are other months of the year, right? Other than like June and October. But yes, uh, oh my God, I'm gonna say right now, holy crap, this freaking music. Truly, this is going, this is the successor to Danganronpa that we were all hoping. <laughs> it's definitely giving me that vibe right now. And that's generally kind of what I've heard about this game is, yeah, this game is, in a lot of ways, Danganronpa with another name. It's kind of back, which I'm just glad to see. Yeah, if you don't know about this game, yes, this game is actually made by the same creators as Danganronpa. And it's actually uh, from Kadaka's new company that I believe he formed alongside Uchikoshi of uh, Zero Time, uh, the, the Zero Escape games, as well as uh, AI The Somnium Files, called 2Q Games, I think. And this was one of the big projects they had announced. Um, they've already technically, I think, released one game together. That was like something club. I don't know. I don't remember that one. I didn't really, I didn't really care to, to check that one out. But this one, the moment I saw this, immediately grabbed me. I mean, the first thing was obvious up to it was that if they finally are bringing back the Danganronpa main artist and absolute freaking Giga Chad, uh, Rui Kamatsuzuki, love their work. And I'm just so happy to to play a game with their work as like the, the main key art uh, once again. But yeah, I don't really know much about how this game plays. After like the first couple of trailers, I just stopped watching. I didn't really want to get spoiled on anything else. But if I remember from like the really early stuff, I'm pretty sure there was some very Danganronpa-like style of refuting contradictions and, and stuff like that, but very stylized, right? Stylized in a way that made me kind of, that kind of remind me of like, you know, Hajime doing his like inner like bicycle ride or, or car ride or whatever through his brain, you know, like only the crazy goofy shit where they're like, they're, I'm going to deduce my logic through uh, this crazy mini game that has nothing to do with anything, but it's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I've really wanted to play this. I've been wanting to play this for so long. And I guess at least at this point, the, the bright side is I don't have to worry about a whole bunch of people like leaving because they're like, oh no, I don't want to be spoiled because let's be honest, most of you guys have already probably played and beaten the ever loving crap out of this game, right? Let's be honest. However, that does mean I have to be more careful about spoilers for myself. So uh, needless to say, uh, yeah, we're gonna be hella hard on any uh, spoilers or inclinations towards future events or anything, right? Just like we are, I mean, we're, we're this way with most games, but you gotta realize with a game like this, these visual novel games that have lots of mysteries and stuff, it's real easy to get spoiled. So we're gonna be uh, hella hard about that. So you uh, you start doing that, get ready to uh, not be commenting on this channel any longer. So uh, <laughs> you know the only thing this this in, this this uh, towel screw is missing is when it popped in. They should just gone raincoat. Da, 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 da. <laughs> like Dangan Ropa. Da, 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 da. I don't wonder if actually the the person that did the music for this game is the same as Dangan Ropa as well or not. I, I'm actually not sure. It really does kind of give me the same vibes. I don't even know, honestly, if like this game is going to let me do voices or not. Is it all going to be fully voice acted or will there be moments of silence where I can, you know, uh, do my uh, shenanigans? I don't know. We're going to fucking find out. But all right, guys, I've waited so freaking long to play this game. I'm so freaking amped to finally be checking it out. I don't usually ask this, but seeing as this is, I, I think it'd be a pretty big let's play. If you're excited about uh, me returning to a Totally not Danganronpa, but also potentially Danganronpa game. Please do leave a like. Let me know that you guys are excited and amped up. And it also will just help this video in general. Leave a comment. Let me know how amped you are without spoiling anything of the game. And uh, all right, let's fucking do this, guys. Ooh, all right. We got some nice 
the sexy menu. So this game is currently a uh, a Switch exclusive, which is interesting. Kind of surprised to see a game like this to be a Switch exclusive. I mean, right? We played Dongarpa 2. That was on like the Vita, uh, the original one. And then eventually, I mean, all these things are now on PC, right? I'm sure this game will eventually come to PC. This is probably a timed exclusive. Oh, there's actually DLC to this game, too. I bought the season pass. Yes, this game has a season pass. Apparently, there's supposed to be like four separate stories. That might, that seems to be what this is. So I'm, I'm just going to avoid that because to avoid any potential spoilers. What does the sign up there say? Create? 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 Capta. Create Capta. The fuck does that mean? Actually, looking around the signs here, and then I think, I think I see some Russian down there. This is a crazy city li we live in. You know, funny thing actually is the city reminds me a little bit of um, this piece of Dongarpa fan art that uh, Kazik, uh, the person who did the, the artwork for the uh, 13 Sentinel video I did. Um, and also just, you know, all around just an amazing artist. Reminds me of a, a piece that she did where it was like Makuro and Junko in the city and it was like raining and stuff. And it had this kind of like cyberpunk look to it. Uh, it was really dope. Uh, what options we got? Uh, okay, it all looks pretty basic. Oh, cool. So you can't actually choose Japanese. All right, keep it keep it in English. Uh, I know Alex Lee is supposed to be in this game. Uh, I actually had I had lunch with him uh, at the the Capcom event. Uh, cool dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we'll just keep it on default and then adjust if we feel like I need to. Okay, we can't skip cinematics, fast forward buttons. All right, I think this all looks pretty good. Let's uh go for it. Is there gonna be a difficulty? Am I gonna have like a choose between like the puzzles or whatever being harder? No? Huh? Oh god, I'm so fucking amped, dude. I'm ready for some more Kadaka weirdness. Was that the Necromonicon? <laughs> Just say it. Can I join us in a little game? Oh, look, a human. It's been a while. <sighs> anyway, that was a good nap. I nearly slept through the whole thing. That was not the voice I expected to come out of this Let's thing. Let's see. All right, there's something I have to do first. Okay, human, listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. Aha, yes, we do Choose have that. wisely. Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. Now then, display the options. Is that Erica Harlatcher? Uh, why it is? It's the same shit! Wait, what? Wait, lenient, mean, adorable, troublesome? Wait. I thought this was two. Usually it was like they'd have one for puzzles and one for the trial sections or something. I don't I don't know. Wait, which is the hardest? I guess mean? Or is it troublesome? Or adorable, because adorable's at the other end. Uh Uh Oh my god. Can, can, can you explain them to me? Maybe I should look it up. <laughs> Wasn't expecting you to have to look up. Hey, what are the difficulties of the game mean? I want the hardest. That's all I want. I want the hardest shit. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's fucking with me. <laughs> it's the game's fucking with me. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I pick. Yeah, I don't. I, 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 I feel bad for essentially ruining the joke here, but I'm sorry. I, I played Dr. Europa, and like I said, I'd always had, I'd always picked the hardest difficulty. So I want to do the same thing here, but it doesn't actually matter. So let's go with the adorable difficulty. Oh, you sure about that? Don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. You want to know what difficulty that is? The one you selected is how difficult yours truly will be on you. I'll be as difficult with you as you wish, so I hope you're ready. Though, to be honest, it's all the same. <laughs> okay. I'm your lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable partner, after all. Fair enough. So, 
Are you ready? Sorry, little buddy. Do you want to start for real? Sorry, for, sorry, I ruined the Do joke you there. Seriously, want to start? Seriously, for real? Yep, seriously, start for real. Don't start. <laughs> Don't start. Don't start. Aw, you're not gonna start? Guess this is goodbye then. I'll delete your game now. Bye! Uh-oh. Just kidding. You can't end things here. Haha, broke ya! So, what is it gonna be? Are you gonna start or not? Okay, alright. Uh, yep, seriously. Huh, guess you're really here for it. Sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries. You just can't wait to go on adventures with me, right? You kind of probably like the funny ghost in Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Humans are so weird! Well, let's get this started. It's time to embark on my lovely, thrilling, wonderful, mystery-solving adventure. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> All right, you're a lot nicer than Monokuma, I think. Monokuma in his first game just immediately you just see him immediately killing somebody in a hilarious manner, but you know. Chapter 0, Massacre on the Amaterasu Express. Oh, really? We're starting off Oh my god, really? Starting a train murder mystery? Trying to rustle my jammies. Oh, he has an hoge. He's the protagonist. It's baby Shuichi with different hair. Whoa! What's going on? W wait. Huh? Where am I? Also had a higher or lower voice than I was expecting. Much deeper. How? <laughs> He might be older than he looks. He might just be Nagi short. <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> so I think I remember this from the, the early trailers. An amnesiac detective, right? Because Kanaka just absolutely loves his amnesiac detectives. Oh, Rui, your artwork. I missed it so much. Oh, God, it's so good. It's so good to have it back. Damn, look at my fucking kicks, though. <laughs> Holy shit, my my heels are lit up. Huh? Huh? Why? How? Huh? I can't remember anything. Yep. Does that mean... Do I have... What was it called? Amnesia? <laughs> Look at that little funny robot behind him. Uh, all right, calm down. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Dang it! I can't remember anything! Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Inside your pocket. Huh? Check your belongings. Who's there? Am I hearing things too? Ooh, this music. Ooh, ooh, I'm already liking it, man. This is a vibe. Yeah. Ooh, I'm liking it. I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. What's going on? Ow! Oh, I felt that on my controller. Oh, what now? I can't catch a break. Hmm. Check my belongings. You know, the funny thing is, though, what's making this already immediately different from Don Europa, except for one game, is that the game isn't using, like, just character portraits, essentially. The only one that didn't do that was technically Ultra Despair Girls. It's kind of more like that, right? Where they're actually using, like, uh, 3D models for their characters, which is cool. I like that. I actually liked being able to like see our characters and everything. And I mean, technically when you're like playing as Nagi and Shuichi, 
and uh, Pajame. You never actually saw them, but you were in their perspective. And Naki was a short little dickhead. <laughs> he was, so everyone like towered above him. Huh. An envelope. Actually, like this little guy's design. He, I don't know. He got some good drip. I like his his hill gaze, like a question mark too. Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Yuma Coco Head, you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous zone of Kanai Ward. <laughs> Is that how it's really pronounced? Coco Head? <laughs> that sounds like an insult. Hey, Coco Head! <laughs> Is that it, the funny name they give his question mark? They call that a Coco Head? <laughs> That's, I'm like, I'm trying to read it and thinking like, man, it's just like a more Japanese way to pronounce that. Coca Hey, hey, ha, Ed. <laughs> that, may, that sounds more exotic and interesting, but nah, just Coco Head. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. I don't think this... This isn't Alex, I don't think. This voice does sound familiar. Is this Felix? Is this guy... Uh, one that, the guy played Felix from uh, uh, Three Houses? Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Yuma Coco Head? <laughs> Don't like that last name. Can't you just saying else? That's my name? Thinking on it, I guess that sounds right. That's right. I finally remember. My name is Yuma. I'm Yuma Coco Head. Oh, we're getting a nice little splash art there, too. All right. Yuma Coco Head. Coco Head. No relation to Coco Melon. But what's this about a world detective organization? It sounds significant. Am I a part of it? If that's the case, am I a detective? I guess these kind of look like a detective's clothes. It seems I was supposed to get on a train. Or at least, I think so. Master detectives? Am I one of them? Could there be someone who knows me on the train? Here's the ticket. Let's check the schedule. Hey, it's almost time. Well, I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. Attention! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, I got a full 3D movement and shit, too? I'm not about to, like, hop into my face and also go into first person? I wasn't sure. Before rushing off to the train, let's start with basic controls. Walk around, explore the room. Mm. My god, crazy. Oh, oh, yeah, I recommend moving the camera around to explore the surroundings. Oh. Places with an examination marker can be inspected. Be make sure to investigate areas of interest. Uh huh. Oh, okay. This is it. It functions just like a dog and rope game, but I'm actually in full 3D. Better write this down. You can fast forward and auto advance through dialogue. Cinemax can be skipped. Gotta stay in that detective mindset. Detective points can be earned by conducting detective activities like investigation and gathering info. Ooh, I like that. Earn DP. Sure yeah. You got all that down. Uh, earning GP increases detective rank. Maybe something cool will happen when the rank goes up. Skill points and memory cap, huh? Leveling up? Am I Danganronpa game? I technically, I technically we leveled up in the... We did level up in Danganronpa games, but it was like... What did you even fucking do in those games? I don't even remember. Like, oh, I think it like... You could like get more skills, I guess? Did it? I actually don't even remember, to be honest. That's where we like going around shooting and slapping shit with Shuichi's big hand and stuff and... And all the games, I think, had leveling up, but I don't remember what they actually technically did. <laughs> uh, mark the next objective and or people to talk with. Oh, I think it allowed you to... It gave you, like, points to buy stuff with. Maybe it'll let you, like, hold more things. Wow, look at this! Ha <laughs> ha! Look at this little goofball! Wow! 
Damn, it's got that, uh, it's definitely got that Switch kind of, like, blurry look, though, right? I'm, just, I'm sure on PC it's just gonna look fucking hella crispy. It, it, it looks good, though, don't be wrong. It actually looks, it, it does look good. Oh, wait, what's my pause menu? Oh, that's it. That's definitely a pause menu. Uh, got any other ones? Oh, there we go. No, that's the backlog. I assume that I'll probably need to unlock it. I probably gotta, I probably gotta find, like, my, my iPad or something, right? That's how it is in the other games. Why are there so many umbrellas? Oh. The label reads, lost items, temporary storage. Oh, shit. This, this game might be fully voice acted. Oh, shit. May not, I, I may not be doing any voices this game. Uh... <gasps> Never mind. <laughs> Got me again. There are a lot of umbrellas bunched together and attached paper, piece of paper reads lost items, temporary storage. Why are there so many umbrellas? Do you sell them here? No, it doesn't seem that way. I'm just kind of curious uh... to see. Okay. Just make sure, like, you can't get new uh, dialogue from examining again, but it looks like just once. Hmm. Oh, okay, and then, no, it really isn't. I, I, I just happened to look at the one thing in here that had uh, voice acting. Something in the back, but I can't get through all the way in the way, with all things in the way. Stuff might fall if I try to move it. Better not go back there. Oh, detective points. This is... There's a cardboard box here. Peek inside through the hole. Put your dick in the box. But it's too dark to make anything out. What in the hell is this? A toy robot? It looks sturdy. The label says lost items. This is... The toy robot looks sturdy. Attached piece of paper reads lost items. I wonder if it moves. I want to find out. I guess I shouldn't touch it. Bags, hats, and books. A lot of stuff has been placed here. Hmm? There are many other things placed haphazardly on the shelf. It don't seem to be organized in any way. Maybe they're going to be sold in a flea market? It's funny, like, I... Part of me wants to give him like the Shuichi voice. So that's like about the, what his voice is actually at is it's kind of, it's a deeper one. But then part of me wants to give him the, like a higher, like, like a Naruhoto voice. Cause he does look tiny and young. I don't know. He does look like, he's got more of a baby face than even Nagi did. Maybe I'll get his age at some point. Oh, hand mirror. See myself, I'm still not used to this. Rank up. Oh, hello. I get it. The place where I was sleeping was in fact... Stations lost and found. A pawn shop, gym storage. Stations lost and found. That's right. I've been sleeping in a stations lost and found section. But why was I sleeping here? 30 points. Did I faint or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? Attention passengers departing this station, direct to Kanai Ward on the Amaterasu Express. Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. Lady! Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. Do I have any bags? Just, just myself. I'm sorry. Oh, pre Reddit cutscene. The Amaterasu Express will now depart. <sighs> oh, made it in time. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. You're welcome. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state-of-the-art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. Oh, really? All automated? There is no crew aboard the train. Oh. Thank you for your understanding and support. Interesting. Okay. 
Kind of an interesting setting here, yeah. A little more, a little more cyberpunky potentially. Automatic? So nobody's driving this thing. We're not gonna lie, that would have me a l slightly unnerved. Though that's very likely going to be the future that we have, to be honest. Pretty sure everything will eventually just become automated. Cars, trains, trucks. This train has five cars. Planes. It will operate non-stop to its destination. Food and beverages are available in car two. Have your credit card ready. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. In case of an emergency, visit the backup control room in car three and contact control headquarters via the intercom. We hope you enjoy your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kanai Ward. So there are five cars. This must be car one at the front. I'd better find the other detectives and meet up with them. If we use this... Hey, here we go. Okay, menu unlocked. Notebook has features and info useful for investigations. When info gets updated, it'll be marked with new. Yo, check, check. In case files, you can see an outline of the ongoing case and next objective. Whoa, this stuff's vital. Uh, current save, current progress. The game can be started from save data. How convenient this modern world is. You definitely want to remember this. You save whenever master is able to walk around freely, but there are some exceptions, so be and careful. That's a wrap. Uh, okay. Matrasso Express Car 1. Oh, wait. What? Still not giving it to me. Must be another button. Wait, what button do I have to press? Oh! Maybe I had it the whole time and I just... Okay, it's it's Y. <laughs> if you're that lost, why not check your notes? Uh, in the case files, you can see an outline of the ongoing case and what to do next. If case is solved, you can remove a few of the summary. Massacre on the Amaterasu Express. You been woke in a room in the train station with amnesia, and his possession was a notice from the World Detective Organization that stated his name and orders to be dispatched to Kanai Ward. So he hurried onto the Amaterasu Express as it departed. On the Amaterasu Express, there were evidently a number of mass detectives who could be considered Yuma's colleagues. Use whatever you gotta to get the job done. Profiles, information, characters can be viewed. Pick a person to switch uh, to the information right screen. Your brain. Personal info is shown on the character information screen. New updated info will be marked on the corresponding markers. Uh, I don't know his birthday. I guess actually it's not even saying. It wouldn't say what his age is either. Uh, likes detective novels. <laughs> Dislikes amnesia. Title. Master detective? Talent detectiving? His small build is unsuitable for fiscal confrontation. A lack of self-confidence results in a tendency to frequently complain. <laughs> However, he possesses a strong sense of justice and selflessly tries to help anyone in need. Okay. I like him already. He's a little goofball. So simple. Uh, Glossary, you can view in-game terminology, names of places and events that have happened. You can also check my tutorials out over and over again. Okay. Oh, cool. We'll take an organization, uh, an organization noted in the directive held by Yuma. Oh, but it's not, it's not telling me anything yet. Master Detective Seemingly Classification. Okay. No, nah, it's not giving me much. It's based on the, the very little we found. Um, and also tell me, uh, it's interesting, all the cars have a different purpose, right? I'm sure that's going to come into play uh, in some respects here. Uh, oh, and then the tutorials are over here. Okay, we do have autosave. Good. <laughs> Locomoting. All right, uh, I see exclamation points. It says main control room A. The door's locked. It won't open. There's a driver's seat inside, but no one's there. The machine appears to be functioning. That must be the automatic operation device. Okay. Uh. It's a map of the train. The first and last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. Okay. Old dining car, firmery. Actually, I have a few infirmaries. Yeah, car five and car one have an infirmary on it. Backup control room, and then a few different rooms. There's a warning on the door. Please keep your hands clear of the doors. For your safety, doors will remain locked while the train is in motion. Okay. It won't open. I... Oh, sorry, I'm trying, trying to test buttons here. Okay, so... That brings up the backlog. 
That does that. And this is the front car. The nose of the train is just beyond it. I was trying to see if there was a way to turn on autoplay or any one of these buttons here. Oh, there it is. L. If it opened, I could fall off. And then R is to skip. I believe. Is there a button to run? Don't think so. Probably just walking because it's a tiny area. There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. There's no one inside it right now. Unisex bathroom. Hmm. <laughs> can't see my reflection. Switch can't handle it. Oh, shit. It does auto for the... Oh, God. But it, it auto scrolls through non-voice uh, ones, too. Okay, better keep that off, then. Wait, did he actually... Hmm. No. Oh, okay. Interesting. You can play back his sound bite. Uh, even if it's not vo not actually voiced. Okay. I can see my reflection in the, the, the perfectly posh mirror. I'm still not used to it. Is that really my face? Wait, you sure you can see yourself? Because I sure can't. Hmm. Restroom window looks fixed in place, so it can't be open. I don't see any of the detectives through the window. Time to move on. Excuse me? Hello? Anyone here? I guess there's no one here. Anyone pooping? You pooping? Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah when I walked out of there, I, I started moving a bit faster. I think it just depends on the area I'm in. I see a clean looking bed. This is probably the infirmary. It's locked, but there's no one inside. Okay. It says main control room B. The door is locked and won't open. I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. There's a machine, but it's not on. Unlike the other one. Driver's seat's on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Ah, okay. Oh. I kind of sounded like a real detective there. <laughs> Shut up, Yuma. Shut up, Coco Head. Huh? Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. Human contact! Holy shit, is that fucking Metal Gear? <laughs> I mean, Solid Snake? Cat boy! Weird eye lash girl, Kazuichi with a underwear on his head. Uh, gender swap Neku. Metal Gear. Definitely getting some fucking big boss vibes from that guy. Excuse me, are you with the World Detective Organization? No, shut up. You are, right? You're Master Detectives, aren't you? And of course, I think I'm shorter than literally everybody. We are. But who are you? Is that actually his ears? I think it is, because they're twitching. I can't, I, well, actually, I don't know. But it's on his hat. Maybe it's just his hat. Do you have like batteries in your hat to make your ears do that? This guy's like the eyebrows of uh, freaking uh, Aishimaru. Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a master detective of the World Detective Organization. A boy like you. Master Detective of the WDO? It seems like it. Seems like it. I, I'm also the Tagami of the group. Like hell, dumbass. Oh, God. Why? Why are you so aggressive? Huh? <laughs> a runt like you, a Master Detective? You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled anteater. <laughs> anteater? Ant eater? Why do you have a bag on your head? What's the meaning of this? You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. You wanna die right here, right now? <laughs> you wanna fucking die today? Wait, please hear me out. 
Oh, right. Uh, I have proof that I'm a master detective. Give me that. A letter from the World Detective Organization? It's real. There's no mistake about it. What? Are you serious? Okay, no, it, it is. He's just young. <laughs> he is young. I'm going with the higher, like, Naruto boys. Because he looks, I mean, honestly, he's even more baby looking than even Naruto was. Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. Right. Thank you. But there's really not much to explain. <laughs> Fast forward it all. And that's what happened. That's my entire life of uh, the last uh, 20 minutes. Amnesia. Looks that way. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Apparently not. No way. We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am I? That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. It's got my Coco Head name on there, though. Why do you suspect me? There is a reason why. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. Guess not. So you called yourself a member without even knowing. Yes, sorry. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Ha ha ha! Very well, I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Uh, thank you. This guy's getting Tagami voice. Already figured it out. This guy didn't say anything. Oh, oh, I just realized if I stand still. Yeah. Zoom in on a map. Oh. My little uh, UI thing down there. Okay, cool. Metal Gear. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, please. Dude, if you're voiced by David Hater, I'm going to shit my pants. That laugh sounded a lot like it. Do it. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking sounds like it could. It could be. It probably isn't, but that he sounds like he's doing his best to here. <laughs> liquid. He's liquid on this train. Riding. Jack. What are you? Hey. What? Huh. We're talking grunts. Hello. Oh. Tall booba lady. What is it? Hello, small girl with headphones. Let's do things logically. Where do you think you're going, dummy? You listen to me first. Get over here. I was going to look, though. Right, talk talked to him first. I'm gonna look at the fire extinguisher. Shut up. Come over here. We're not done with the tutorial yet. We're in chapter zero. That means absolutely nothing's going to happen here. What are you doing? Look at your ears. Stop looking at them. I can't help it. Are they a hat or part of your head? Doesn't matter. It does matter, actually. It's really important. I gotta know your lore. Shut up. You'll figure it out in due time. You'll know about my incredibly majestic cat ears. Now talk to me. Listen up. The World Detective Organization is an extra legal, extra privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Cool. Their branches exist throughout the world and their investigations are handled by master detectives. Hmm. Okay, so I'm like, we're not. All, you're not all gonna like dive into this game, <laughs> is what you're saying, right? This isn't a case of like all master detectives on a train and all of us are gonna be dead by the end of the game. But all of us, I mean, like probably like a like a fifth of them are gonna still survive. You know, just gonna hang out, but most of them are gonna be dead. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WDO. Oh, uh, wow. All have powers specializing in investigative work. Wow. <laughs> Made me feel a little small there. Powers? They are supernatural powers used in investigation. 
known as forensic fortes. Really? We actually have superpowers? Cool. People who develop talents such as clairvoyant or mind reading. Oh, damn. <laughs> Fucking Shuichi and Kigiri were just a bunch of basic bitches who were like really good at detectiving. <laughs> Fucking nerds! Fucking superpowers the way to go, baby! Why deduce this when I can instead lift this object with my mind and throw it on the ground? Damn. Ah, that's the kind of shit I need. They train at the organization to harness these special powers, which aid in their investigations. Cool. Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed. Oh god, please tell me every one of them has like one, like a unique special power. That's be the sickest shit. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna be like... It's like we're all fucking like Shinigami or something, alright? We all have our uh, fucking... Uh, we all have our Shikai or something. And then we unlock our, our Bonkai. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just weaving out here. Which means, if you're a master detective, it should say so on your license. I have the ability to make my Hoge turn into different things. <laughs> That'd actually be really funny. Detective Deed? It's an identification card. Check your pockets. Check between your ass cheeks. I don't have one. If you don't have a Detective Deed, you ain't one of us. Even if you got one, I'd suspect it's fake anyway. How could you breathe with that thing on, by the way? It's like covering right oh, across your nose. I'm not trying to trick anyone. Um, pardon me. Yeah. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? Yeah, seriously. If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. Thank you, little headphone girl. <sighs> the hell did you just say? She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. I like it was just like an old man, by the way. Like, I like that. I'm glad it's like, we're getting a nice variety of different ages here, right? Unlike, again, Dagropa, which is, it's a bunch of high school kids, right? We've got literally myself, which is a Babu, crazy, angry, Ichimaru, Kazuichi looking dude, who it looks like to be in high school. The girl to the left looks like to be a young adult. I guess that little girl down there is also a Babu. Tagami looks like he's probably also in like the, around high school or something. And then we have, Literally a uh, solid snake in the corner. Huh? First time? So you guys don't know each other? Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. We're about to go solve like the biggest case ever or something? And we need like everybody. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you walked in. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. Oh, okay, there's more. What? You still want to do introductions? With the imposter too? It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. All the more reason due to this perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Now, let's begin. Oh, uh -huh, okay. Oh god, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a fucking splash screen. I'm gonna start. With, I want to start with this guy. Who are you? Say some things. If you're, please be David Hater. All right. I mean, it's all right. You're probably not gonna be David Hater, but if it is, I will geek the fuck out. I am Zange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. Not David Hayter, but still got a great voice. Zangi Eraser. I'm starting to think everyone's just gonna have like a crazy last name. Perhaps you expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. My ultimate power is to shoot lasers out my eye. Really? No, 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 I use it for reading actually. Let the past melt like ice in an evening's drink. That's how I live my life. My forte is thartography. <gasps> I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. Oh my god, they are. They're all gonna have their own unique... I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? This is essentially... I mean, everyone was an ultimate in Dagrupa and they had their own unique thing here. 
But I think, I think it was just getting me the fact that it's like actual, like fucking superpower, supernatural bullshit. I think that's kind of fun. Photography. That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanations. I'm also really good at doing spin kicks and choke holding motherfuckers. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. Cool. Okay. What about you, angry lad? I'm Aphex Logan. I'm from the detective branch in the eastern slums. Aphex. They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke illegal immigrant. When I was a kid, I was in an upstanding home, living an upstanding life. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. <laughs> should have left well enough alone. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Their necks were cut open, right in front of me. <laughs> Damn. Bit of a badass, aren't you? See some shit, all right? That's awful. Nah, it was kind of rad, actually. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. And then I put my bag on my head and I start calling myself Bagman. And I terrorize neighborhoods, stealing all their bags and wearing a memorabilia, which were also bags. Sold them at thrift shop, made a million dollars, then burned all that money on bag porn. They make up porn for bags? You bet they do. It's the nastiest, raunchiest shit you ever seen. I had mountains of it. So much bag porn. I didn't know what to do with it all. After that, I was back on the streets again, living with the bags. The bags give it, the bag taketh away. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until now, thanks to luck. Did somebody say luck? No, no, get, get, get out of here. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But I also wanted revenge. Revenge? I can't stand evil. But even if you ain't evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. I also don't like good people either. I also don't like regular people. Actually, you know what? I think I just don't like people. If I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. <laughs> well, there you go. Kill or be killed is my motto. He looks scary, but that's not all. I think there's a deep sadness within him. He's carrying a deep sadness in his bag. And his bag isn't made of plastic, paper, or fabric. No, it's a bag made of revenge. I can't share details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. Oh. That's all you're going to tell us? You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? <laughs> I can fucking sense your energy, you weak energy. Your power level's only 100. Right, pathetic weakling? Not at all. You sure are a frail looking kid, aren't you? And pale to boot. Like disaster's got its claws on you. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? I don't know, man. I woke up with amnesia. I think that's already a pretty, like, weird thing. No way. <laughs> the detective's gotta be tough. How about a little training? First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick, scissors, and a fruit knife. Why don't we work to- why don't we work to a fruit knife? No thanks. Don't be shy, runt. No, really, I'm fine. Come on, let me stab you. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> wow, he's so cool. All right, what about you? I am the ultimate super duper high school cat man. I'll go first. Allow me to introduce myself. No, you're not going to go first. I you went third. And Zilch Alexander. Zilch. Okay, these guys got some funny names. These are some very not Japanese names. Does he have a fucking swastika in his eye? I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me 
nature's mediator. If he does, that's a, it's Monica all over again, right? Nature's mediator. Can you talk to trees? I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. Oh man, I was really hoping your power would have to do with cats. No! Why does everyone say that? Because of your giant cat ears! I told you, that's the power of some incredibly other, unrelated deep lore. But my real power is plants, and trees, and, and harmony, and stuff. Yeah, really should have been with cats. Shut up! No one shouldn't have! However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Have you heard of the High Elves? Rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. Uh-oh. This doesn't have anything to relate to I all ice, right? If I, if I hear all ice in here, I know what Uchikoshi's contribution to this game was. It was a once-in-a-century difficult case. The one who solved it was none other than myself. There wasn't much to it. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. Huh, really? They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. That's like that one, uh... Watch a movie not that long ago. It was like the Something Express as well. It was actually also on a it was a train mystery as well. That was similarly the 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 ending result was that everybody everybody on the train was actually in on uh, the crime. I'll let you figure out what that means. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator. He does look like a good detective. Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. I'm sure I really understand your power, sir. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. It's just how my face is shaped. I'll describe my forte as well. Oh, okay, good. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators. But this is an emergency. My forte is animal investigation. Wait, wait, oh, we come back to cats? Oh, was, was I playing with you? Let's see. I can control animals as I wish and recruit them from my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I am. Does that include cats? Yes, that includes cats. Oh, yes, okay, we're back. I'm back on board with your power. Ha, that's all part of being a cutting detective. I use it to mislead ne'er do wells with my cutting while. Wow, you're the coolest cat detective there ever was. Damn straight. Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. Is there a cat on board? Oh, we gotta try this shit out. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Oh. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now, because there aren't any mice on this train. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. And ears! He really is impressive. That is all from me. With love, I yield to the next person. You know what I'm actually thinking? It's very potentially like, okay, it did kind of come back around to animals. So it's a very distinct possibility those ears are actually his ears, right? Not just on a hat. That might mean this little hoagie on my head actually could be my superpower, right? I'm, I just said that as a joke, but you know what? I mean, everyone's got a bunch of weird shit, right? Like on them, that old man's got an eye patch. This guy's got a bag on his head. He's got the cat ears. The girl's got headphones. She's got weirdly colored eyelashes. And then uh, I got my weird fucking hoge. I don't know. Like, maybe this thing will, like, fucking point in the direction of, like, killers or evidence or something. Or just get erect when I'm really excited. Anyway, hi there. Hey, young man. Hi. You have, like, a little pink spot on your face. Is that blood? This isn't pink blood in our... Oh, is pink gonna be blood in this game? Oh, shit. We'll have to wait and find out until somebody dies. Mm, me? That's right. Come here. Stand before me. Know me, child. 
Why? Uh, whoa. Huh? What's going on? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need an adult. I have an adult! <laughs> I'm measuring you. Yeah? Uh, um... <laughs> measuring the Ahoge. <laughs> Stay still for just a second. I'll be quick. Oh, I swear she has like little, she's got like, part of her head is shaved and it's like purple. I think, yeah. Or, or she's got a wig on. Yeah, actually, I think that might be it. I think she might have, she might have shaved her head, put, made it purple, and then it has a wig on top of it. Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. Thanks. Do you like read my persona through my clothes or something? My name is Melanie Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. Okay, I, I see. Yes, everyone's just gonna have crazy names that are not in any way Japanese. I, I guess maybe Melanie's kind of goldmine. Is a detectives adapted spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. Okay. I'm an esper. Summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Wow. Cool. That's a cool power. That's some fucking Maya bullshit. Do you also get changes in your fucking bosom for some reason when it happens? A soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Or my dad that went out for cigarettes and never came back and is probably dead. Yes, of course. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Oh. Okay. All right. I guess that's a that's a stipulation. I guess that's why you like my clothes. Wait, are you, are you planning to kill me? Am I gonna die and then you're gonna put my clothes on? Wait, what if they don't fit you? <laughs> what if the clothes don't fit? Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. Hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me, or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size must match. Oh, pfft. what? Just force that shit on. Just, I don't know. Like, just kind of, can you just like stick your hand through the sleeve part way or, I don't know, put it on your head? Isn't that good enough? Ah, oh, that's super limiting. Ah, oh, that. Your power from super cool to now super shit. Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. Filthy reeking clothes are always out of the question. No, stop. Stop adding more stipulations on your stipulations. Stop it. You're making it worse. That sounds more like a preference than a condition. Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. Consider that when compared to bare skin, clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. Especially in a video game where it, re it really is. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Did I just see a ghost at the start of the game, though, and it was naked? Now that you mention it... That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Oh, cool. I don't know anything about myself, either. What kind of person am I? Really? Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. And you have a very tiny Ahoge. Aw, oh, come on. That's... That's uncalled for. That's unnecessary. I think it's probably at least average. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means I really am a master detective? Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective Melanie. Nice to meet you all. Okay. Cool. 
Hi there. An introduction. Introduce myself. Okay, you're gonna be like, you can hear the sound waves of fucking the universe or something. And you can see that that makes you see the future. Of one's own self image explained objectively. Yeah. Uh, are you okay? You okay? You need a, an orange juice? Did I do something that caused you concern? Uh, no, it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. You seem as confused as me about everything. I rarely have a need to do so, so I was considering what approach to take. After all, is there such a thing as a self in the first place? Whoa, listen, listen, little girl. All right, I'm already in a really heady space. I don't need any more of your heady stuff. All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself Poochie Lavman. Poochie? Yeah, that's a funny name. So, your name is Poochie, then? Yeah, it's funny. Everyone's got weird, funny, funny irises, too. Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self-recognition. Symbols for categorization. Nothing more. Like her eyes are bees. To that end, it serves the same purpose as a detective deed. Or so I, Poochie, believe. <laughs> I eat me. She seems a bit odd. Only her, though? <laughs> Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. My clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. My forte is known as audio aptitude. Oh, shit. When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. Ooh, ultra hearing. Cool. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Poochie, am around. That would actually... That's an insanely useful ability. Holy shit. You hear their heartbeat, then you can, like, tell if they're lying or something? Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately... Unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things far away. Oh, I see. Again, yeah, there's a catch. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. Oh yeah, I think we all know that feeling. Uh, yeah. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. Put the headphones on, right? Being blessed with power sure comes at a price. Damn, what are my cool abilities gonna be? This is neat. What's my crazy bullshit be gonna be? Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop after she obtained her forte? Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. Okay. Oh. Get the free! Ah! Uh-oh. This part of her seems a bit more normal. <laughs> ah! Cute boy! It was done! Okay, never mind. You're 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 fine. <laughs> you're just a regular girl. I hear a heart beating faster than usual. Is it my own? Ha <laughs> ha Cute. Okay. All right. I think everyone sees pretty. All right. Pretty nice. Except maybe that guy over there. He's a little, he's a little crazy. Lastly, it's your turn, Yuma. Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? Oh, I gotta have some kind of superpowers, right? Come on. Come on, baby. Be some cool shit. Come on. I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. Oh hell, maybe my forte is amnesia. I can give 
myself amnesia and that's it you better hope it's not that i'll be super lame yeah i have no idea oh young man are you sure you don't remember how about the kind of clothes you usually wear or brands you like you only inquired about clothing. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. Hold on! Aphex, stop that. Stop if it! If knock him out, he won't be able to speak. The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do with his memories. Perplexing circumstance? That's right, I was wondering about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Did something happen? Well... Something unexpected has occurred on our trip. The number of people is off. The number of people? I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... precisely five. And we have... wait. Myself, one. Crazy guy two, this girl three, eyelash girl four, uh, the ear, cat ear guy five, old man six. We have one more than we were supposed to. Five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, there's an imposter. There's six of us. I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. Hence why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. Hmm. It's probably bad guy. That's why I'm so defensive about it. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. Evil's afoot. <laughs> this is getting exciting. Uh, yeah. It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. It's not me. I think. How about we contact the WDO and find out? It could be a mistake. It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? It's obvious. I'm the most suspicious. Especially with my amnesia in this situation. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. All right, I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. You may speak, I'll allow it. Why would I need your permission? Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Huh? It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. Ah. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? To replace him? To pretend to be a master detective and replace the yeah. runt on the train. Okay, that's actually a... Really good theory, Apex guy. I I was legit kind of suspecting it'd just be you. <laughs> You're the only one out of everybody. I think they didn't say what your power was. You were just like, yeah, it's a radar or something. I don't know. The plan was going smoothly. Back power. The runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed. And the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The runt's got to be tougher than he looks. He, he has the ability to wake up. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. And I thought you'd be the most. <laughs> I thought the here. same thing, Melody. Why? Thank you. In other words, I was knocked out at the station because someone attacked me. But I don't think I've been injured. Excuse me, my deduction is slightly different. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Stop acting like we need to get your permission. I suspect that the entire situation is a test, designed by the World Detective Organization. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member, and is ascertaining our skills here. Oh. 
If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Me? An exam <laughs> officer? But I'm a babu! <laughs> Bring it on! I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got. Fight me. Fight me right here. Fuck, I'm going to take my shirt off. Fucking hit me. Slap me so hard. Come on. Twist my nipples. What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? Like this. Oh, he's going to use his piss shit. Let's go. Oh! Wow, it literally is a radar. You are joshing. Go. Cool. What? What was that? A weird feeling overcame my whole body. Radar jutsu. No signs of the enemy. <sighs> Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Um, what did you do? I used my forte, life detection. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty helpful. I mean, that's... Yeah, actually, you're like hunting a culprit or something. You'd be like, hey, he's in the building or anybody's in the building. Like, Asta's in the building. Yeah, that's pretty good. The mechanism is a trade secret, but I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? We're never going to get anywhere if you start doubting everything. Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. Yeah, did you not see him do literally summon a giant green radar on the ground? Those are all just incredibly convincing special effects. I see. So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. In that case, there's someone else with the power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Uh, oh yeah, of course, her. Um, Poochie. Would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Poochie, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. And farts. Shall I try? Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? That's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? <laughs> Shut up, you brain dead idiots! <laughs> Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need to concentrate. Sassy child. Huh? Whoa! Ear farts. Bee eyes. Bee! This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Does no one else hear it? Oh. What's going on? Oh. Oh, interesting. Do I have the ability to replicate other powers of other master detectives or something? Like a Peter Petrelli kind of shit? When I, do I get in? Can I keep it permanently? Or, can, or is it just like they use it and then I can like also use it while they're using it? Mm. I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Though one could hold their breath, 
they still cannot stop their heart from beating. In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Uchi, guarantee it. See? I told you so! Sorry for calling you gloomy earlier, little girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but... Aren't our powers kind of the same? <laughs> they look too similar. I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. Oh, shit. <laughs> Your net wrecks, nerd. So you're the useless one. Quiet, you catty bitch. <laughs> Moving on. We've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them an imposter? But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. Yeah. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? That's your forte, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. Yeah? In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again Whoa. thanks to this burning mystery. Creepy face down there. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You don't have your mouth open like that? You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? But he can't without an animal on board. How about it? Right. You four-eyed fox detective. As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. So, you're fine being considered a suspect, then? You are free to think what you wish. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Now we've got two suspects. And the old man? How about you, old man? I just don't want to! I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. Huh. That's true. There's no end to this! To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! Yeah, that'll prove it. Something. Whoever passes out is safe, got it? The real deal. If you don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. Time. Why would they need your permission? You know, it's interesting. I, I like that because of the setup, right? The setup of the the characters in the game in this game that everyone's a master detective. That means that everyone in this game at least has some relative level of intelligence. Even this crazy this crazy psycho dude here who was able to deduce that 
that stuff earlier, which is different than how it was in Danganronpa. We, in Danganronpa, it was very much like, you just had a bunch of really stupid characters, and then there was like Shuichi and Kokichi and like, you know, Tagami's kind of, but also not really. And for the most part, it was like, there were only like a few like really actually like relatively bright people. Though I guess some of the killers could get pretty creative. But it's kind of neat seeing everyone be like, like, oh, I have, I have a good theory here, you know? The Amaterasu Corporation, they could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. But I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear, and at last, they revealed themselves. What? Hold up. Did you just say that you... <laughs> hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. Why am I the only one freaked out about this? I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal. To disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Yeah. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? Yes! It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. Oh, okay, cool. About Amaterasu Corporation, about the Kanai Ward, about the Express. Start from the top. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. Freaking huge, bro! You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. Amaterasu, their smoke. There's a whole building burning down. It's fucking Jeff Bezos at the top. I tell you right That's now. A detective joke. Funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> sure, I got it. Thanks. You didn't laugh. Laugh at it. I raked up. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. Wait, it's like a fully automated city? But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Okay. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years. But the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. 
The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. I see. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Interesting lore. The train. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. Yeah, that's, like, that's, a, that's a lot of train for five people. The windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big, moving coffin. Why would you say it like that? All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Has anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Huh? That was the ghost at the beginning, all right? I hear dead people. Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. I'm already pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. <laughs> Makes me war awake. We also have fucking brandy, by the way, and whiskey. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk. No, like it black. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Dude, that's what I was wondering. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. <sighs> Thank you. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Who is the most suspicious person here? It's not him, and it's not her. Myself, to be perfectly frank, it kind of is me. <laughs> I am the most suspicious person here. Looking at things objectively, the situation I'm in is pretty strange. Not to mention the mystery of my missing memories. 
Was it an accident, or did someone attack me? Regardless, I can't remember. So in the end, I'm the most suspicious one here. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Remembering now won't do any good. There it is again! I keep hearing that voice! Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Uh-huh? Get over here! The old man is gonna show off his powers! Check this shit out! Uh, Zange? I wanna summon Metal Gear. That's Rose, he's got like fucking the like Aperture Science logo thing on his back. Well, all right, guys. Uh, I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. Uh, definitely getting a lot of exposition out of the way, but I'm I'm actually super enjoying this. Uh, I'm already like actually quite engaged by the the world here and the the setup. This is fun, man. I'm ah uh, ah. Uh, it feels good, dude. It feels really good. It feels so good to be like I don't know, excited about a game that's like uh, again made by the same Don the Dongropa team, and clearly he's gonna probably have a little bit of that in there, right? A little bit of problem solving, detectiving, but but with some new twist to, on the formula that uh, we've never seen before. Uh, anything new added here? Oh, I guess we probably got some new profiles too, right? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. Over here. Uh, but we'll read those maybe uh, next time, so. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode or excited for this series. If you are, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready. Become a Peaky Penguin aboard the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Oh, I can't wait to see where uh, this game goes from here. I'm, I'm actually, I'm really excited about this. And just even this, this intro here actually has me even more excited, so. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.